What's up guys? In this video, we're going to break down a practice question about evaluating the signs of a pneumothorax. Are you ready? Let's go! You are called to examine an acutely hypotensive patient with dyspnea and you note the following. Reduced chest expansion on the left side, a hyperresonant percussion note and tactile fremitus on the left side, absent breath sounds on the left side, and a tracheal shift to the right. What do these findings suggest? Is it A. Pleural effusion on the left side? B. Pneumothorax on the left side? C. Atelectasis on the left side? or D, consolidation on the left side? The correct answer is B, pneumothorax on the left side. By assessing this patient and reading what they told us in the question, we can quickly determine that the correct answer has to be a left-sided pneumothorax. The unilateral findings of reduced chest expansion, a hyperresonant percussion note, absent breath sounds, and tactile fremitus all on the left side, that to go along with a tracheal shift to the right, this indicates that the patient has most likely suffered a large pneumothorax on the affected side. Now remember, for a pneumothorax, the trachea will shift away from the affected side. You can rule out left-sided atelectasis because in that case the trachea would shift to that side. And also, if the pneumothorax is severe enough, it can disrupt cardiac function, which can cause the blood pressure to decrease. And that explains why this patient is hypotensive. So by using what we know about a pneumothorax, as well as the process of elimination, you know that the correct answer has to be B, left-sided pneumothorax. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.